everybody, and welcome back to Star Maid. I'm Dugamus, and we're playing on the Star Squadron server. I don't usually do tutorial style episodes, but people have expressed interest in how my little paint factory works, so we're going to make a standard hardener factory which is going to be the same basic thing I don't know I'll pretty it up later but we're gonna just work out the logic here so factory and a storage block Connect the factory to the storage block. Here, for simplicity's sake, we're going to connect this to my main storage, which is up on this floor, which should let it pull whatever it needs to start making. One. Standard hardener. Every factory tick. So, whatever. And we've already set this one up to connect to that one. So, we're going to auto pull. And we're going to be really lazy and tell it to pull everything. You can get specific, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we got that. Now, we're going to put an activation module here. When something goes into here, it's going to activate this. And we want to transform that into a pulse. So, we're going to put a we're going to connect a button to the activation module. And then we're going to connect it back and hit the button. So, I'll turn that off. So, then every time something goes in here, into this storage block it'll pulse ta -da. okay now on to the lovely sensor part okay let's disconnect that from everything okay so we want the sensor block to monitor the storage block that's pretty easy right And we need an activation block next to the sensor block that'll tell it what to do. This will, whether or not the sensor's state is true, this will turn it on. So, Because we're having it monitor this block here, we're going to go... Yeah, let's go in. You can hold 100 volume units. 27 standard hardener is about 0 0.3. Well, it's actually 0 0.29, but it rounds it. So... That's going to be about the same as the paint factories. So about half full is going to be about 50,000 standard hardener. So we're going to go and add these. And we're going to mark the, we're going to attach them to the sensor block. Now, if you want to check 50% of this content, of the contents of the storage block, you're going to activate 50% of the activation modules. Okay. So now this sensor block is going to check this storage block for 50%. And if it has at least 50%, this is going to light up. Now, in order for the sensor block to check anything, it has to receive a pulse. 
Now we've connected this pulse for when this block changes contents, send a pulse. So we're going to take this pulse and connect it to the sensor block. So now this is checking every single time the pulse for 50% contents. Now, let's move this along a bit. Okay, so we're going to take 10 by 10 by 10. And we're going to connect it to this block so it's going to start making about a thousand at a time. And this will start to fill up faster. We need to get to 50,000. And I don't have all day. So we're going to. 2000. And I'm out of storage blocks. Out of factory enhancers, rather. So. It's making a lot. Oh, standard hardener is way heavier than I would have thought. Hmm. Okay, so I've made a mistake. Because this uses multiple... ingredients unlike the paint factory you run the risk of it pulling more than just the standard hardener out so we're going to take this vertikeen and put it back in my inventory but the standard hardener is also apparently a lot heavier than your paint. And this is still trying to make more. Nothing turned off the factory. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this knot gate. Take the signal from this block to the knot gate, negating it. So when this is true, it's more than 50%, we want the knot gate to be off. And we're gonna take the knot gate and use it to control the factory. Now, we're just gonna go And temporarily switch that state for a minute. Add more storage for the cargo. On the next tick, it reactivated this, turning off the knock gate, turning off production in the factory. Now, if you were to continue to add that, so it was under 50%, the next tick, it would check it. This would turn off, the knock gate would turn on, the factory would be re-enabled, it would make more hardener, the hardener would then get moved in here, and once it crossed 250, that tick would cause this to reactivate, the knock gate switches off, 
standard factory shuts down. It stops producing standard hardener. Now, you could do something like... Oh, nope. Let's not do that. Turn these on and attach them. And now every tick, it will check to see if this is 75% full because you got three out of four activated. Now, the reason I don't use 100% is because it's been known to be buggy in some versions of StarMade. I don't know if it is fixed in the absolute current version. I have not tested it yet. But this design predates it being fixed. So, voila. My little factory for making standard hardener. Now, I will eventually clean it up into something that fits all snug like that. Like the paint factory itself. But, to explain it, uh, it's a, that's about how big I'm going to make it. And, uh, definitely do not need this many factory hand enhancers. This thing's going to run for all eternity. And it'll turn itself on and off as you need because of these lovely pulses. And you don't have a running clock. Well, you're kind of using the storage block as a clock rather than having a logic clock. Which is fine. Now, if you have any questions or anything was unclear, we can see about dealing with that in the comments. But it's not really that complicated a device. You can put any factory here. And you can use it to do multi-step factories. If you're careful. Very careful. You would have them basically all controlled by this knot lock. Like if I were going to make advanced hardener instead, I would have a basic factory making the, the Fertikine ingots, an advanced factory making the advanced hardener, and pulling the advanced hardener out of the advanced block, the advanced factory, and when this was full of advanced hardener, turning off both factories so that you wouldn't end up with extra Fertikine ingots that you didn't need. So, that's good. Alright, I'm Doug Ennis, and this is the Star Squadron server, and I'll see you next time.